Hi guys, we're back on to a daily basis of our niche gold making A to Z and we are on letter E. And E today will stand for essence of water. Now essences, for those of you who aren't familiar with them, were the uncommon elemental crafting reagent in vanilla wow. So you may be familiar with things like primals, eternals, volatiles, sorceress, those sorts of uh, elemental themed crafting reagents in previous expansions. This was the uncommon version of the vanilla one, and it was used in all sorts of crafting and enchants end game back in vanilla. However, it's used in very few things now. We won't really get into why this is valuable because spoiler alert, that's also going to be in the A to Z niche gold making list in the future. So we'll hit that when it comes to it. But bottom line is there is a demand for essences. There's a demand for a few different ones. However, I found through watching prices that the essence of water is the one that typically sells the highest. And I believe that this has a lot to do with the fact that it's the one that you're less likely to actually run across while leveling. It's dropped mostly by mobs out in the world that you might do while questing, while certain dungeons, particularly things like BRD, can drop things like Essence of Fire, Strathholm can drop, Essence of Undeath, that sort of a thing. While there aren't a whole lot of opportunities to drop Essence of Water inside of dungeons, and the ones that are are in uncommonly run dungeons like Dire Mall. Now, the average price on US servers, according to the Undermine Journal right now, is 268 gold per piece. So they're actually fairly valuable and they are very quick to farm. So that's what you're seeing in the background here. Basically, in order to farm these, get to Swamp of Sorrows, which is now easier than ever. First off, mages can port there, or at least horde mages could, because that's the port we got to get to Karazhan back in the day. But now we can all port to Karazhan very easily. So just take the Dalaran portal down to Karazhan and fly over to Swamp of Sorrows. And around this lake in the southwestern side, you'll find these mobs called Pure Spring Elementals, I believe they're called, and just farm them. The great thing about this is you can fly, so that's why I'm doing it on my druid, is because it has an instant cast thing that will one-shot them, and I can immediately then mount and run to the next one in flight form. So druids are really, really nice for this because of that flight form and instant cast, but anyone can really do this, obviously. Druids just make it really easy. So I farmed these for about 19 minutes. I ended up with 15 of them. Right now, Undermine Journal says on US Realms, the average price for these is 268 gold. So that's about 4,000 gold worth of essence of water in just under 20 minutes, or if you will, 12,000 gold per hour. You guys know how I feel about gold per hour now, but that is how the math works out. Of course, they aren't you know, a super high demand item, but for reasons that you'll see later on in this series, so make sure you're subscribed, they are a valuable item and you can make a lot of gold with them. So you can farm them now and sell them, you can farm them, hold on to them, see what we're gonna use them for later, up to you. But this is a way to just run out, grab a few valuable items, pop them up on the auction house, or if you find yourself crafting with them, and you need some and they're ridiculously priced on your auction house, go ahead and grab some yourself because as you can see, it's really easy and quick to do. So I hope this helps you guys out to make a lot of gold. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay subscribed because we are going to do a new niche gold making video every day, at least until I finish the alphabet and a season two is probably coming as well and we are actually back on a daily schedule. I also, other news, I hit 5,000 subscribers recently, so thank you guys so much, both new and old subscribers. I'm going to look at doing some sort of giveaway because I'm excited, and so I'll do a little video just announcing the giveaway probably in the next day or so, so that you guys know what's going on there. It'll be its own video, it won't be a niche gold making, because niche gold making is going to be its own thing. Anyways, thanks so much guys, have a great day.